The regional dialogue session on trending conflict issues is one of several activities being implemented under the Sahel Peace Initiative in Ghana. The National Catholic Secretariat of the Catholic Bishops' Conference, with funding support from the Catholic Relief Services, is leading efforts to raise awareness about violent conflict and to seek remedy. We need to build the capacity of our security services so that they can uh, prevent, protect, pursue and respond to terrorist activities when they arise. Again, we need the political class, the politicians to commit resources to countering terrorism. Countering terrorism requires inter-agency collaboration because security is a shared responsibility. But the danger there is the over-politicization of our life. The office of the Upper West Regional Minister is alarmed at the number of chieftaincy and land dispute as well as pockets of inter- and intra-religious conflicts in the region. The Upper West Region is bleak with numerous chieftaincy and land dispute as well as pockets of inter- and intra-religious conflicts. Although these disputes for now do not pose any serious threat, there is no guarantee that they will not degenerate into violence in the near future, if not properly managed. It is on this call that I wish to renew my call on the enskinning authorities of the various traditional councils whose skins are vacant to endeavor to fill them as soon as practicable in order to prevent them from degenerating into violence. As we all know, there can never be development without the prevalence of the requisite peace in the region and the country as a whole. The event was under the theme, Trending Conflict in Ghana, Fertile Grounds for Violent Extremism, a Call for Action. You may have a certain form of disagreement, but when you begin to think that, no, this disagreement must escalate to me exhibiting violent tendency, then you have moved from the realm of being a normal person to the realm of being an extremist and a potential violent extremist character. So these are some of the things we need to watch against. And when you see little signs of that, you know that we could easily slip into the arenas of what is happening in neighboring Burkina Faso or probably in other parts of Africa like Niger, Mali and other countries. Participants were drawn from policymakers and implementers, academia, religious leaders, traditional leaders, youth group leaders, political parties, women group leaders, CSOs, the Justice and Peace Commission, among other individuals.